Welcome back, traders. Second portion of our show, Market Movers. Uh, don't have a whole lot on the radar this morning, but let's start with uh, Juniper Networks. JNPR, uh, capital, but I think the real lift here is coming from Barclays. They had positive comments for the $27 price target on the stock, so that's, I think, what is giving the stock a really good lift here this morning. It's up uh, 65 cents from the close, trading 2010 right now after closing at 1945. Looking at the chart, I would have said, you know, $20 might give you some resistance. I think it would be a good swing number for you to use those $20 area. What do you think, Joel? Same thing, uh, Dennis. Topping out in the pre-market at 2020, uh, someone definitely wants out there. Not a ton of volume associated with it, but uh, 2020 looks to be the pre-market level. Um, if you shorten air, there's a, there's an idea for you. Uh, going back to the dailies, I mean, 20 has kept the cap on this for quite a while, basically since December 12th. Uh, that 2020 area is confirmed by the December 9th high of uh, 2026. Uh, so if we bust through that area, though, Dennis, uh, I think you got clear sailing up to the $21 level. But uh, with the spoos kind of in retreat mode here, I'd, I'd use, uh, you know, this is a uh, resistance area. American Greetings Corp, with which is AM, uh, that actually came out with earnings here this morning. They weren't good at all. It was 50 cents, I think, against estimates around 80. So a major miss there. The stock has had a couple trades go off down here. Not a lot of volume, but been a little bit. Three different trades, 1530, 1527, and 1535. The best bids at 1536, best offers up at 1590. So it looks like the stock might open under that key 16 support area. If it does do that, I'd probably use that 16 maybe for a Resistance. 1520 is a 52 week low. We bottomed out there in early November a few times. So I'd say 1520 is pretty key for the stock to hold. If that. You borrow the door, Joel. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, here's one of these companies that you wonder how they just stay in business, you know, with, uh, with the internet and with making cards and people sending electronic cards and all the kids to do cards and everything, you know. I guess they only got people like me going out there and spending 450 for, uh, you know, uh, you know, a birthday card or something. Uh, but yeah, I'd keep an eye on that 1520 level, Dennis. I mean, what else can you say? I mean, that, that was, uh, major, major support for that stock back in November. Sure looks like we want to test it now. Uh, not many trades in the pre-market, so I'd keep an eye on that 15-20 down to $15 level, perhaps some shorts coming in. Uh, but um, this could be one of the stocks that's on the road to zero, Dennis. I mean, I just I don't I don't see how much longer they could compete with you know all the all the companies out there that are doing this a cheaper way. Well, and I think that's why you see a multiple on something like this, a seven. Obviously, that multiple is going to go a lot higher with only 50 cents that they made this quarter. But at the same time, you know, there is value there. So I think, you know, at some time, thinking maybe somebody come and take them over, different reasons. But I agree, Joel, you know, the business model there, you know, is definitely in direct competition with, you know, the Internet, which is not, you know, good for a lot of companies. So I'd probably stay away from the long side of this one as well. Bed Bath & Beyond, BBBY reported after the bell there last night. Not good earnings either. Stock is trading down pretty significantly today, Joel. 58.75 after closing at 61.43. 58 bucks. But there last month, uh, um, just, just below 58. So if that area doesn't hold, then the stock starts to open up again. But maybe you get a bounce off that initial 58. What do you think? Uh, I think that I put in Best Buy instead of... Uh, e -B -B -Y. <laughs> yeah. Three B's and a Y. Woohoo! That's a common... Th I've seen people do that a lot, actually, <laughs> going there, but... Yeah, B B B Y. Got there you it. Go, Joel. Got it. Yeah. Well, it was really trying to hang in here. Dennis uh, was showing a lot of strength at the sixty dollar level. Was holding there for a long time. We cracked it. It's also cracked the support that it had at fifty nine. I'll tell you, Dennis. I I would look at this thing and be very very cautious on the open. Uh, the pre market low has been in the fifty eight seventy area. That's where we're trading. Um, we don't get a bounce off there, Dennis. I mean, they could take this thing out to the 
to the barn and take it down to that, you know, 55, 23 level. You also got some support at 56, 84 and 57, 75. But I would just look from those daily lows back in October as potential stopping points. And I wouldn't touch this thing on the long side unless it got above and held 59.50. Vivus, which is V-V-U-S, Victor, Victor, Union, Simon. Uh, stock came out here uh, with a... Uh, their one drug here, just trying to bring it up here, bear with me for a second. Uh, yeah, so the one drug, not as good of uh, results. They were saying their diet drug had some uh, side effects with it, so that's why the stock is trading down here significantly, $8.90 after closing at $10.40. So stock's getting taken out to the woodshed here, Joel. What do you think on VVUS? Keep an eye on that pre-market low, Dennis, 8.33, uh, smartly above that now, 60 cents above that level. Uh, decent volume associated with the stock here in the pre-market. Uh, I'd be careful for this $9 level unless we can get above there and hold. Um, I still think it's a short down to that pre-market low. Uh, looking at the charts, uh, we've taken out pretty good support um, at a lot of these levels. But if you go back to um, October 26, you had a low at 849. So perhaps if that pre-market low doesn't hold, we'll be looking at this 849 level and then the $8 level. Alaska Communication Systems, which, which is A L S K, came out uh, came out last night. Slashed the dividend down to a nickel. It had been up. Uh, the dividend was. Let me just check it out here. The, yeah, well, the dividend was higher than that, so I don't have the actual number. But they slashed. That's a big, pretty big slash. The headline was to preserve cash. Whenever you get companies slashing dividends to preserve cash, it's scary for shareholders. I wouldn't want to own this thing. Three dollars and fifty seven cents. $4.10 was the old 52-week low. For whatever reason, we kept rallying here. I think you'll see major resistance up in that $4 area. Uh, but um, I definitely wouldn't want to own this thing. No, it hit a, hit a pre-market low, Dennis, here. It, uh, uh, wow, under the $3 level. It's actually, uh, you got a straight print here at 279 oh, Boy, so if it gets back down near that $3 level, I expect uh, to find some pretty good support there. And uh, running into trouble here right at the 350 level. Um, if you're shorting it, you may, you know, they may try and run it back up to four bucks, but, uh, this thing sure looks like it's in, uh, big trouble. Uh, going back, you know, in the monthlies, uh, to look at this thing to find support, um, you're pretty much looking under the two dollar level, which, uh, probably won't see today. Uh, that's really all I've got for you, Joel. There was that little takeover at WCAA for $6.50, but not much to say there besides the price. Um, but other than that, we're actually starting to give a little bit of this gain yep. back, Joel. Only up three, three and a half here now. What do you think on the overall market today? Uh, well, we'll see if, you know, if the rally's over or get a test of the Globex high here at 1246. Uh, we did have that other number, 1244, the high from this, uh, December 13th we ran into. Uh, looking for this thing, uh, to peel back, find real good support around this 36 area. I think if you pull back to the settlement and close again, uh, you know, you gotta either try and bring in some shorts or maybe look to the long side. Um, and unless they could crack that Globex low at, uh, 1230, Two and a quarter. It uh, looks like it's going to be an update in the market. That's a wrap of the market movers, folks. Uh, we'll be back with you tomorrow morning.